Hey everyone, welcome back to another Python challenge tutorial and video. Uh, this is your host, Ruta the Null, and we're looking at challenge number 15. We just got done with 14 with this nice little kitty named Uzi. <laughs> Took us a while to kind of figure that one out and get here. But here we are, challenge 15. Now, uh, what's kind of presented to us is this image of a calendar. Um, just doing some basic observations. It's obviously January, and the... Uh, I guess there's Mon Monday the 26th is circled. I don't know what year it I'm assuming this is for the year, like this one hole six. And it looks like this hole, I don't know whether or not it's a bullet hole or, or some kind of hole, it, it's covering up the other digits in the year, I think. Um, so, as usual, basic investigation. Let's check out the source. View page source. The title is Whom. Um, whom? <laughs> so, maybe the answer is supposed to be a, a, a name or a person. There's a hint here that says, he ain't the youngest, he is the second. I don't entirely know what that means, <laughs> but it probably has a, has a hint or an, a clue to whom or who or whoever the person is that we need to get an answer to. Okay, so it should be he. Should be a guy then, I guess. And he ain't the youngest, he is the second. Uh... So there's our image of the calendar here, screen15.jpg. And there's another comment that says here, to do, buy flowers for tomorrow. Buy flowers for tomorrow. So there's gotta be something special about today, I guess on the calendar being the 26th of January. Whatever, the year, whatever year this is, as a Monday, and tomorrow being Tuesday, uh, the 27th of this year in January. So, uh, okay. Buy flowers for tomorrow. Let's let's try and uh, build something in, in Python. Um, I haven't done any tutorials on these guys yet, but. Oh, actually, let me save a new file. 15.py I haven't done any tutorials on these modules yet, um, but there are two that I know, and they're pretty simple, and hopefully you can look up some documentation for them. Um, date time, work with date and time, and calendar to work with uh, other dates. So those are two that I know, and will probably be able to help us out for us. With, with this, anyway. Um... I don't know really where to begin, other than trying to figure out a year. Whatever this bullet hole is covering up. So, we can test if the 26th is a Monday, right? Or like the 27th is a Tuesday. And then it'll give us some ideas for what year it is, right? Let's let's try it. Um, f uh, we can we can do this with a loop. We can test for like multiple years and see if they see if they are uh, 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 the correct year. So four year in range. Let's go. We know it's going to be a thousand and something something a six. So I'm just going to set this to zero and let's go up to as high as we can. 1996. That was when I was born. 1996. Wow. Um. And then, let's, we can increment by 10, because obviously if we're just going to go up like 16, 26, 36, and then eventually we'll get to 11, and it'll, it'll keep building and just filling these in-between numbers. So that's why we can increment by 10, just uh, shorten the amount that our loop will go through. So, okay. Now we can determine if this uh, day, the 26th, is a Monday or anything because that's going to be the 26th in January. So that's a function in, uh, in, in date time. We can actually create a date time object with date time. So let's say if date time dot date time, now it'll pass in arguments for like the year and the month and the, the day and everything. So we'll pass in year. The month would be one, considering that's January, the first month. And the day, let's say the 26th dot 
weekday. Now weekday is another function that will return the value or like a numeric value depending on what day it could be. Uh, I don't know the documentation of when Sunday, like when the week starts. I'm going to Google that. Date, time, weekday, Python. Weekday. Weekday. Return the week. Return the day of the week as an integer where Monday is zero and Sunday is six. Okay. So okay, so yeah, zero would be Monday, one would be Tuesday, two would be Wednesday, etc. Three Thursday and that, that sort of thing. So if we're looking at uh, Monday, twenty sixth, we're testing if it's zero. And if that is the case, then we can print the year. Run this. Bam! We got a lot of stuff. Okay. So, I kind of want to look through some of these dates. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, though. What is that other hint that it said? View page source. He ain't the youngest, he is the second. Okay, so, youngest throughout our period of time would mean that the latest year that the guy's the guy's age he would only he would be the youngest if he were born at this latest year it's 1976 but he's not the youngest he is the second so 1846 something about 1846 what can we gain from 1846 january 26th january um, january 26th 18, what is it, 56? 46. 1840, crap. 1846. Benjamin Franklin, ooh! Benjamin Franklin Keith. Uh, Benjamin Franklin Keith. Crap. Benjamin Franklin. Ben Franklin. No. Franklin? Benjamin. No. What the heck? This doesn't look good. Ben. Nope. Crap. None of these. <sighs> doesn't help. What's the other hint? Buy flowers for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, we should test for the other day. We should test for, what day was it? Tuesday? Tuesday the 27th. So, January 27th. If that's a Tuesday, weekday would equal 1 rather than rather than 0. So if we run this, hey, uh, pretty sure this is the exact same output. 1846. Okay, let's go with 1846. And, but now, okay, now it would be... January 27th. Letter to William... Holy crap. Who was born on January 27th? This page is going to load. No, it's not going to load. Garrison. William Lloyd Garrison. Lloyd, Lloyd Garrison. No. How about Garrison? No. Clark? Second guy? Clark. No. Oh, Howie. How? Charlie How? Oh, that doesn't work either. What the heck? More laws, 1846. Sir Robert Peel. Peel? No. Great. I don't know what to do. Sir. Let's look at our code. For year in 
2006 to 1996. The reason we set that up was because of this hole. Because we don't know the two digits. Daytime, daytime, year is all this. I'm going to zoom this in since you guys don't need all this white space, this empty, empty white space. I'm testing for January 27th, if it's a Tuesday. Oh! Oh, years, right? We're, for, we're forgetting about... Oh my god, we're forgetting about leap years. Right? Is this... Does this take into account leap years? Um... Calen the calendar function... That, the calendar function I know has something about leap years. Calendar, leap year... Python. I know it has something about leap years. Right? Is is leap year? <laughs> Return is true if year is leap year, otherwise false. Uh, okay. So we can test if so we, if we get the correct year, if we get a year that has a uh, uh, Tuesday, January twenty seventh, we can test if calendar dot is leap year. So if that year is a leap year, what we'll do is we'll print out leap year and then the year let's just see which leap years we have leap year 17, 1976 okay so the other one that we were seeing earlier and then 1756 1576, 13, 1176 our hint was he ain't the youngest he is the second but we're still on uh we're still on Tuesday. We should change it back to to Monday. Zero. That's what it was, right? Yeah, Monday the twenty sixth. So if we run this, we still get the same thing, seventeen fifty six. So that that's the year that we must want. I'll close out of these and get back to Google. January twenty sixth. It was uh seventeen fifty six. Seventeen fifty six. Being the second. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is a map of the world. Um, Bank of Marin. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Whoa! Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, he's a person. He was born. On the 27th of January, 1756. Oh, that's that's Tuesday. That's the day right after, right? Yeah, see, look here. Tuesday, January 27th. Um, and if we if we had that in, it would still it would still give us 1756. That's still leap year. Let's try it. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Are you kidding? Wolfgang Mozart. That doesn't work either. How about just Mozart? How about... Just... Here. Mozart. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Okay! We did it! <laughs> Found the answer! Now we're on challenge 16. That's awesome! Sweet! Okay, so it was Mozart. How come? I thought we were looking at, uh... The 26th of Monday, Monday, 26th, January, apparently, 1756. Why, why the 26th? Oh, yeah! In the, uh, in the source, it gave us this hint to do buy flowers for tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's someone's birthday. Heck yeah, that's, that's awesome. Okay, so we figured it out. The next challenge, the 16th. We can get to it with the URL Mozart. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> that one was pretty cool. It was a little bit more investigative and research and mind games other than, other than a lot of code like the last one. But this one, huh. You'd never have thought... I don't know. I, just, I guess leap years. That way we can get the second... Because he, 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 that's right. We were looking at the other one. 
the last the others that we were looking at we looked at years as well as leap years okay so we looked at 1846 thinking that he's he's not the youngest but he's the second so the second year that has a Tuesday January 27th but we should have been looking at leap years rather than rather than just regular years or including leap years I don't know <laughs> I mean, whatever we did we got an answer and we're on challenge number 16 that's awesome so we're done we're, we're done we're, we're good thanks thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed this um, if you did like the video maybe do me a favor and like the video <laughs> uh, leave me some constructive criticism in the comments and if you're feeling generous today maybe subscribe you know I'd love that thanks for watching everybody I'll see you again